a quick addendum to the first part of how to make a custom personality chip. Uh, there are a couple of issues with the audio tracks that I've encountered that I want to cover real quick. The first issue is volume. The LEDs on the droid will blink um, when the audio goes above a certain volume. Uh, and the clips that I've recorded are too quiet and so the LEDs don't blink in a consistent manner so I need to fix that. So I'm in Audacity here. I can go into uh, Effect and Amplify and the stock values that are going to come up here this is what it would take to amplify the audio track so that it reaches maximum volume without distortion. So the value you're going to want to put in here is something below the value that they enter in by default. You could leave it like this and hit OK and that would work. Uh, but it's when I look at the stock personality chips, I find the, the peaks are usually around this 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5 uh, levels. So I want to be consistent with those. So this is too much amplification. I'm going to undo it. And I'll go to Effect, Amplify. And I know it needs to be below this, so I can just take a shot here. We could do 10. And it's almost there, but not quite. I'll go to Effect, Amplify again. We can do 14. And it's, it's just about there. So maybe I leave it there. Uh, maybe it's a little too high. But that's, that's OK, so I'll leave it there. Um, that's a good volume. That's what I want. The next step, I find that when, in, when the audio clip finishes playing, the LEDs blink. What I think is happening is I've left this uh, like half a second worth of silence. And I think in, silence in quotation marks, because there's still some little background noise there. When the silence ends, um, the audio chip in the droid I think is detecting that event as somehow going uh, breaking that threshold level for whatever reason and so it decides to blip the uh, the LEDs very briefly the fix for that's pretty straightforward it's just a matter of deleting all the extra silence now you can see Maybe there's a little something there, but it's so close to that, that zero level that it's not something you're going to really hear, especially not through the speaker that's in the droid. So I have no problems deleting that little bit there. I'm just going to go right up to there. And that fixes the problem of the little blip at the end when a track finishes playing. Uh, for consistency's sake, I'm just going to delete the... Uh, extra audio uh, silence at the beginning of the clip too. Again, looking at the stock personality uh, audio clips, they don't have really a delay at the beginning. So I'm keeping with what they do and sort of using the stock personality audio clips as a guideline, it's going to give me this now, this uh, the, the, the volume level and the lack of silence at the beginning and end of the clip. That looks pretty good. So now it's just a matter of doing this to all the other tracks, putting it on the personality chip, and giving it another go.